Hey, Gabrielle. Okay, Adriana. So many things going on in the world today. I think moving from Auckland, obviously down to New Plymouth, is a, was a, a probably something necessary in order for me to find like my own home, so to speak, mm -hmm. because in Auckland it was obviously for me out of out of my range. But to move to a place where you don't have any friends, you don't have any family. <laughs> mm -hmm. I never really thought about the impact of that until afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's like I just leaped in with two feet, socks, boots and all. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, I don't regret it at all because I've also learned a lot on this in this last year and a half or 18 months. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it is being how resilient we can be if we're really put under or put under pressure of some kind. Like when you're on your own with your child in a city where you don't know anybody, I mean, who is it that you can turn to immediately? Mm. Nobody apart via phone call or people mm. that aren't, that are far away, like your friends and your family. Mm. That makes it, quite challenging and then to also have a big renovation like a renovator home where you've never done a renovation before so like a brand new kitchen a barren i mean it sounds very shallow but i think there were some days i just didn't want to get out of bed i was some days so depressed mm. and stressed i just i just wanted like to put the blanket over my head mm. and the whole world to disappear I know, I know. And we were talking yeah, about that. It wasn't a support network there. And mm. everyone gets so busy in their lives. Um, they have their own family. They have their own friends and dramas. And life is moving so quickly mm. that it can be difficult to make time for someone else, right? Yeah. And I think in our culture, we don't necessarily reach out to people when we really need it. Or we're afraid. Or maybe I am. You know, I feel, oh, I've got to cope with this, that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, actually, to say, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can cope yeah. with this, I don't need help, um, mm. everything is going to be okay, which we know at the end of the day, everything is going to be okay, but I think it's something, perhaps just that I've been brought up with, I'm not too sure, maybe in lots of um, families in New Zealand where we haven't reached into that place inside us, that needs help, that needs some support and some nourishment from others, and that it's okay to ask for that. Mm. Um, you, you know, I mean, of course, you need to ask for help, but we are not made like that because from early age, we're told, don't ask for help, you can do it. You're big enough, you can deal with that. And you bury more and more stuff inside you instead of saying, by the way, can you give me a hand with that? Because I'm struggling, you know, and that's mm. human, it's mm. normal. So I hear you. Yeah. Mm. So why did you move to um, Palmer, Palmer, New Plymouth? New Plymouth, sorry. Uh, yeah. Why did you move there? Affordability, really. Mm -hmm. I couldn't afford to buy a, a million dollar home in Auckland. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And have a mortgage up to here. <laughs> yeah. this, this is not living, you know. And um, there were lots of places I looked, but it just so happened that this is where I ended up. But I love being near the ocean. That's been amazingly therapeutic. Mm. Um, without that, and I think without my yoga, I probably would be down at the doctors getting some serious medication. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> remember. Just, to me, just to get me through, like the first, probably, I guess it was the first eight months that, or maybe the first year, really. Mm. Just you have no idea how big a job it is to renovate a whole new renovation. Absolutely no idea. And people separate over renovations and things yeah. like this. So going through all that, unless you've experienced it yourself, it's very hard to understand. Mm. But yes, without definitely without my yoga, without this ocean sort of only a few kilometers away, mm. um, I would have been in a, a different spot right now, I think. Do you know what I, and I've always said it to you actually, that your yoga is uh, the most safe and beautiful place that you provide for others to come and just learn about themselves and feel 
better and get over any trauma they've got in life because that's how I met you, remember? I came mm-hmm. six mm-hmm. years ago struggling. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when all the doctors pres- prescribed me a bunch of pills, mm. I said I'm not going to touch the pills. So remember I used to escape in the evening and come to you and this was the only place where I can get in touch with my body but also mm-hmm. become free of whatever was bothering me in order to recognize the pain and i think that's why i keep saying to you you should be doing yoga classes for everybody around you because once they come and experience that it's honestly beautiful it heals it no? as long as they're willing to touch on that place within themselves yeah um because what you'll find often yoga classes are just like another form of running away from something it's like a vinyasa flow. You just keep flowing through the class. You feel great afterwards and then you just move on. Yeah. But you've never touched on anything within you. Not all classes are, of course, like that, but a lot. Mm. And people are afraid to come to that point where there's a, a stillness. Because in that stillness, up arises the pain that we're feeling. And sometimes the tears and mm. the or the disappointment or all these things can come to the surface Mm, and it does is to allow them just to come to the surface and flow out rather than keep pushing them in just Mm -hmm. allow them to bubble up and then allow that sensation it'll slowly just leave if you just give it the moments give it the time give it the few minutes that it needs to process yeah but often we don't process it, and that's why we keep stuffing it down. Do you think because of fear, people don't want to go there to those dark places inside them? And I don't know if they are that dark, actually. We just think they are. But actually, when you open the door, you see the light. Mm. Mm. Um, we kind of have this, I think, imagination that there's this terrible place within us or there's too much struggle and and pain and suffering. It's like if we just allow some space in there for it to surface, then it's not actually as bad as we imagined it to be. Yeah. And also on the other hand, it could possibly be worse, but we're quite resilient. We're, I think we can cope with more than what we believe. So what are you planning to do in terms of business now? Hmm, that's a good point. <laughs> I know. Mm. The, the yoga, the yoga for sure. Mm. Uh, I've got to pick that up somewhere with um, where I left off and get some classes going here at home for the, for the stage. I think quiet practices are really needed. Yeah. Um, but not necessarily practice, quiet practices aren't necessarily weak practices. They can be quite strong as well. Are you talking about the restorative yoga? Uh, but even not yeah, restorative, yin. I'll do restorative, I'll do a yin, and then also my own kind of like a breathe and release. Mm. So we're, so it's encouraging stillness, moments of stillness, mm. instead of ever racing movement that we seem to have in our life. We're racing from one thing to the next, scheduled our life away. This is like building strength and stamina, but through stillness, through yeah. pauses, taking pauses to hold, mm. to breathe, mm. and then move forward. Yeah. So, yeah, a, a slower momentum, let's say. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, huh? You're going to do great because you've done it so, so many times. It's about the people to learn what are you offering because not mm. everybody is on board with that unless they've experienced it already. Yeah, and it's not gym yoga. It's 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 something a little deeper. Okay, my dear. Yay. Have uh, a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Okay, hun. Yep. Let's stay in touch. Talk soon. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.